I saw this question the other day. Here it is. Maybe God is evil. How, how would we know? If God or Jesus were evil, then he would tell us the exact same messages that he already does tell us now to deceive us. Maybe he's just pretending to be good, just doing some good things to trick us in the end. Is there some inherent reason to believe God is good? Hey, interesting question. Uh, it's a good question, and there's a good answer. So let me try this approach by way of analogy. If a man says, I always lie, how can you tell if he's lying about that? Well, if he's telling the truth that he always lies, then we have identified at least one occasion where he's not lying. He's telling the truth, and therefore his statement is meaningless. He obviously doesn't always lie. But if he's lying when he makes his statement, then he is admitting that he doesn't always lie. And therefore, his statement doesn't make any sense. He, he doesn't always lie. Therefore, this situation, I always lie, is impossible. That cannot possibly be the case. <clears throat> so, back to our situation. Is God lying by telling us he's good? Is this the ultimate deceit? Well, I say in the same sense as the above analogy, it's an impossible stance to maintain. It can't possibly be so. So let's play through the possible scenarios. First, if we assume God is really evil and always evil, but he's good all the time to trick us. Well, that doesn't make sense, and it can't possibly be so. Because if everything God, is, God does is good, and he's good all the time, then he's not evil at all. He is perfectly good, and he can't be all evil and all good at the same time, so the situation doesn't make any sense. It can't possibly be so. So the second scenario, if we assume God is really evil and always evil, and he's evil all the time, then that's no trick at all. God is just evil, and we can tell that he's just evil. We're not fooled in the least. So if this is the case, he's not God. There's no trick. It, this situation doesn't make any sense. It's not possible. So the third scenario, God is evil, but he's good some of the time to trick us. Now the problem with this scenario is that we wouldn't know this unless we could tell. But if we could tell, we aren't being tricked at all. And if we can't tell, if we can't tell, then we are truly ignorant of right and wrong. And right and wrong are meaningless to us, so it doesn't matter that God is evil but pretending to be good. The case fails in both situations. Actually, I've shown that the case fails in all situations. You see, if God is evil, but tries to trick us by doing some good things, we can tell. And eventually God would be found out. So it's really not a trick. If he's not good all the time, which is what situation one was, and he's not evil all the time, which is what situation two was, the only way we'd know is if we have enough radar to discern the difference, meaning that eventually his deceit and evil would show and we would recognize it, and so it doesn't work. Whereas some people may get hoodwinked, the truth would come out, he'd be recognized as a deceiver rather than God. So in other words, only the most gullible or naive person would continue to believe that God was good when it was obvious to most of us what the truth was. It's this way with most things. I mean, eventually theories like flat earth or geocentrism are accepted by only an obdurate few. And it, it's not really a trick. See, in every scenario, the claim that we are being fooled by a trickster god is nonsense 
pure nonsense. This, the case fails in every situation. If we have any discernment of good and evil, which most of us have at least some, then we know what goodness truly is and looks like, and what evil truly is and looks like. And we can make a ta test, not a taste, a test, based on how we define good and evil, how we observe good and evil, and the consistency in a person. Eventually, a person's evil will show. And if it never does, then the person is not evil at all, but they're genuinely, in, they're genuinely good. So there's no trick here. There's no possible scenario where God is getting away with this deceit. We can look at God's acts as revealed to us in the Bible to determine if God is genuinely good or evil. We can evaluate God on definition, observation, and consistency. Therefore, based on analogy, logic, and discernment, it is simply not possible that God is evil and deceiving us. Talk to me about this. What do you think about what I said?